Yo, what's good, guys? It's your boy, Triff Gaming. What's up? What's up, everyone? I hope everyone's having a great day. Today's video is going to be an in depth analysis from Alan Roman, the man who finished third place at YCS Mexico with Pendulum Magician Adai, Tempest Magician Crazy Spice. I got the entire deck list for you guys. And on top of the deck list, I also got uh, a combo tutorial from the man himself and I asked him five questions that he could answer for you guys live on video. So five questions that he's going to answer. I asked about the deck, mainly, why are you playing Magicians? They suck. You guys know me. I'm not a fan of the Magicians right now. But with that being said, enjoy the video. It is going to be in-depth analysis from the man himself. Finish third place. And hey, they can't suck if they finish third. At the end of the day, they're Pendulum. The magicians are still better than Garbage Striker. I just prefer Pure and Demion right now. That's all. Anyways, if you haven't already... Hit the subscribe button! Smash the like button! Let's go straight into the video. Hi everyone, Alan here from Mexico. I got third place at YCS Guadalajara with Pendulums. And as you know, my deck's a little bit different as the usual. So Steven asked me some questions about my deck choices. And I'm gonna try to explain uh, why I made the choices and how do they work, okay? So, first question, what was the game plan of the deck? The game plan behind the deck it's the same game plan that all Pendulum players have, and it's try to make the better board possible and as strong as possible, you know? A lot of interruptions and a lot of um, negations. But I like to take care about the resources, you know? That's why I... Uh, that's why I choose to play cards like Magician or Rod Ice, because in the late game they can be so useful. Maybe not useful at the beginning of the game, but in late game they are so good for, for winning the game. Sometimes you can put an unbreakable board, but you gotta keep in mind that that doesn't happen every time, and you gotta cap and you gotta have resources for further turns. Why magician? I think they all suck. Specifically, why poison fang in an Orcus striker format? Okay, uh, for me they don't suck. They are really good tools for a late game, as I told you. Uh, poison can be an out for for floodgates, like and dispel fragments. Maybe the poison and fang effect uh, on scale is not the best, but it's not bad. It's not bad. And harmonizing can give you access to a, a rank 4 Exist monster or level 8 synchro monster that are one of the best monsters in the game. You know, Abyss Dealer now is one of the best monsters. And Magician can give you that easy access to, to this kind of monster. Dragon Color, Dragon Color is... Uh, it's a good card, can be part of the combo, can be an extender sometimes. I'm gonna show you why later. Uh, why your dice? Two Sky Aries and three targets is kind of weird. Why? Okay, yeah, maybe it can be weird that you just have three targets for Sky Aries. But you don't need more. Sometimes you don't. You just need one search from Sky Aries and that's it. Sky Aries plus Servant is it's full combo, it's so good. And the three targets that I, that I choose to play for me, they are the correct, the correct ones. Uh, Persona Dragon is so good, the negation effect, and that you can special summon him with uh, Uratic, it's so good. Uh, Arc Dragon has a really good uh, scale effect and can be part of the combo. It's a, it's a level seven. Um, Mirage Dragon is, is good uh, when your opponent uses Baylor for Electromite. If you have Karairis, you can search this, uh, this guy. If you don't have the the dark worm in the in the extra deck, and you have the war dragon combo just with him, for me they are good. I, I like too much. Skyris was MVP in in many games, you know, in the, at the YCS. It was a really good card. I I re, I really really glad to to play that card. Uh, White Tempest. Tempest is part of the combo. Tempest is one negation without paying 4k. I will explain it in the in the combo tutorial, but uh, a, fa a, fast, uh, a fast explanation is you just need to send a level 7 and a level 4 uh, or lower dragon monster to the extra deck and pen summon them with another monster, you know, obviously having Electromite on the, on the field and the combo is like, uh, you special summon the level 7, the the level 4 or lower dragon monster, another monster go for LP, uh, Electromite and the other monster link summon into triple board, special summon Tempest with LP Tempest and the level 7 
um, overlaid for the exit summon of absolute and then you link summon Saryuyas with triple boards and absolute special summon vortex at, at the left a special summon tempest from the graveyard uh, removing the two the two dragons that you used before a special summon nagar paint with tempest and and Saryuya. and then a special summon red cut abyss at the end uh, just you link summon Eurotic with uh, LPs and Agar Paint, and that's easy. You just need a Dragon Shrine that gives you uh, Dark Room, and Dark Room will give you the Gate Zero that is level seven for this combo. It's so easy. It's so easy. And that's why I choose to to play Tempest, and Tempest can be a a, a good resource in the further game, in the late game. Sorry, you 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 can special summon him from the graveyard many times. And it can be part of a link summon or just to to OTK your opponent. For me, Tempest is so good, and you don't have to play like you don't have to pay like points. That to me is really important. I don't like this truth at all. Uh, the last question: What would you change from your deck? Mm, just one card: the Persona Dragon. <laughs> the Persona Dragon. It's it, it's common. <laughs> I want the Ultra <laughs> because here in Mexico it's hard to find the the jump cards of. So. That, that's not cool to me, but uh, being honest, I like too much the deck. I don't like to change nothing uh, from the extra deck, the clearing space. It can it can be a Boris Savage or or Scarlight or or, or, or stay with with him. And in the side deck, I may change some some cards. I have different ideas. Uh, sorry for my English. I, 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 I try my best <laughs> to make me understand and that's it uh, let's go for the combo okay I'm gonna show you how Dragon Shrine can be full combo with four magicians that Steven hates <laughs> send Dark Worm special summon Dark Worm at the gate zero normal summon any magician doesn't matter Link someone for Electromite. With Electromite, you can send any card. Uh, you, you don't need to send any card, but uh, let's take out uh, a card that you don't want to draw. Pop the gate zero, uh, recover any card, it doesn't matter. The draw doesn't matter. And you go for the scales. Pen summon the level seven, the level four, the other monster you need, and harmonizing would be a plus. Special summon with harmonizing. You can special summon level four for later having an, an exit or synchro monster or a level seven to go for Saryuya and, and draw four cards, okay? It depends on the deck you're playing. If you're playing against Sky Striker, you want the village. And then you special summon him, make absolute, And then just go for Saruya to draw. But I'm gonna show you the normal combo. Link someone LP. Link someone triple burst. Special someone tempest. Tempest is really important. It's, it's, it's very important in this deck. And then just special someone absolute. Link summon Saruya, special summon Vortex, special summon Tempest again, removing the two dragons. Link summon, special summon with Dagger Pain, then you link summon Eurotic Seal, and you can exit summon an Abyss Dealer or whatever you want. And that was just with Dragon Shrine. What do you guys think, man? The man himself. I like his explanations for the videos, uh, for the combos, and why he played certain cards and the card choices. In fact, uh, the reasoning in the eye with Tempest Magician is literally making me debate play Tempest Magician. In the grind, it does essentially what the Strudo does, giving you the free monsters required. And on top of that, it does give you a better grind game, in my opinion, because you get to get Tempest out twice 
uh, throughout the whole match after you bring it out. So, Tevin Richardson's is really not that bad. But hey, it's the man Allen himself. Congratulations for finishing third place. Watch this video and pay close attention to it so you can learn for YCS Dallas so you get more than one or two or three people at the top of Lindemia. My band is up. Is up. I don't Konami. Hurry the hell up with your response. I go destroy everyone at events. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Smash the like button. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.